to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man Challenge, brought to you by Captain Adonis and Know It All DM. This is Zelot, your host, and I will be playing as a competitor this series or this season. And it is season zero. It's kind of the test season. So let's resume what we did last episode, which was land run west until we got enough resources together to make a basically a motorcycle and then we drove west until we hit um, <clears throat> the champions monument which had three POIs uh, neutral civilian POIs surrounding it and that's where I basically left off uh, also what I did notice we're gonna actually we'll load in um, what I, what I found out was the reason why stuff spawned still with like seven hours left of the first night, it's because it's based on galactic time, apparently. So one after one hour of galactic time from when the save starts or your scenario starts, um, that's when all the predator spawners around the galaxy activate apparently so it's like uh, it doesn't matter what planet if it hasn't loaded yet or not that's why when you go to a new planet like what the later game planets there's already creatures spawned right away because it's based on galactic time it has nothing to do with time of day it has nothing to do with with um, how many hours have went at night and how many hours have went during the day. It is one real hour of time. It's the very first hour that the scenario runs and then after that the predator spawns activate. Now they might not all activate at once obviously. I think it's 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 sort of a random right like once they start spawning they start kind of randomly spawning and i guess despawning and then respawning again whatever anyway the fact of the matter is that's why predators spawned with um with it still in the first night now obviously it's the second day now and I've been hanging out in here. I let stuff spin up and, and I made a bunch of stuff. I made some bullets. I made some weapons. I've got a drill now. I've, I did make a core because we're going to code core. And I made a couple more multi charges. So that put me up to 11 now. <clears throat> so we're, we've got, we looted multi tools and stuff. Uh, we're going to go multi tool down as much of the shuttle hub as we can before it gets too dangerous. Uh, hopefully we can get enough to spawn in an HB right then and there because there should be enough of a pad that I'll leave to spawn it on. It's not very big so that's the goal. So let's do that. We're gonna fly over there right now and there's I left food over there right so hopefully we don't get a nice. I think I avoided all st spawns too. Woo! Okay, right, let's pick that up. Turn our jetpack on. And so once I smash this thing, once I. I'll put the I'll put a new core in and I'll start multi-tooling it down. The only problem is is once I remove the fuel, or as soon as I put my own core in, it starts eating up the fuel that's in it. So I'm not sure if I care about the food spoiling, which I left in here. Um, it's quite a bit. Uh, I can always. I mean, it's easy enough to go pick all that again, if, whatever. So I'm not too worried about it. If it spoils while well, I start multi-tooling this 
It shouldn't take long to get enough to spawn in the HP, I think. So let's do this. Exciting. Our first uh, shot with a weapon. So and we'll just aim it down at the core. It's a yellow core. That's cool. Okay. And come on. Right there. We own it. This base is mine. Okay, so well, let's just launch our drone and start multi-tooling this thing. Oh, you know what I should do? Um And retrieve blocks. Actually, I'm going to... <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to salvage. Now, I'm going to sacrifice a couple of gold here, I think. I'm going to show you guys how much it costs. So right now, by default, this should be set to private. Yep. If I salvage him, I get one gold. If I set it to public... Let's see what happens. And let's salvage. And still a gold. So it doesn't really matter. Um, if I retrieve blocks. Now, am I getting XP for that on public? Let's see. Let's see. So 279. So retrieve blocks. No, I want to salvage, right? Well, it doesn't matter. It's on public. And 308. Yeah, I am. I'm getting... Was that 78? 278 and then 3. So I got 30? Okay. One gold, so I can only get one gold for those for the um, crew deco. That's fine. I'm just uh, zapping stuff for XP right now, actually. <laughs> just getting some. What I should be is going for the full block. So let's change that. We're gonna go for the full block and just get the HV spawned in first, so that um, you know if. If a drone comes along or something, we can... I do have ammo for it. So, and I've got enough fuel to fuel it up and run for a while. <clears throat> so, yeah. Let's... Maybe retrieve. And then we're going to change this to private. And so we'll grab that. All these signs are worth uh, really good... Um, resources basic silicone and all that all these windows and all that I don't think I can get much for that's I can't put deco into a um, I can't put deco in unless well, I might be able to I don't think I can put that deco in. I might be able to Let me see. <clears throat> I don't think it takes plastic though or wood so it probably won't take it Actually, I don't want to take the... Oh, I did nuke it anyway. You know what? I'll take... I unsealed it. I'll take this. We don't need all these cargo boxes. There's a bunch over at the other place. So we'll just grab a bunch of these too. They're probably worth some good... Um, resources. And so are these antennas. These are worth really good resources. We'll grab the uh, lights. The antenna. This should be worth some good. And there's a bunch of deco inside, so we'll grab the deco. Um, the elevator blocks. And we'll 
to salvage this guy. And we'll retrieve the deco now. I'm pretty sure I can get good resources off these decos, uh, both copper and silicone. So I want to do that. Come on, give me it. Give me, give me, give me. Okay. Oh, look at that. I, I, did I zap myself? No, that was behind me. <laughs> Which I like nuke my armor. Hmm, guess I should leave something for me to stand on. Okay, I know windows cost quite a bit of silicone to make, so let's take a look at what we're actually accumulating here. So we're five windows at 23 silicone and 18 iron. Wow. <clears throat> More than doubled the silicone count. Almost those five windows were almost enough silicone. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be able to do this. I didn't get any copper, but I think these LCD screens... Oh, yeah, I already have more silicon. Oh, look at that. The copper count is already up there now. Uh, so let's take a look. Different. No, see, furnishing deco gives you nothing. Computer, copper and silicone. This should be metal. Gave us nothing. So just not enough. Yeah. This should give us more. There we go, 10. Uh, what does this give us? Oh, it gave us some, but it also capped out the copper and silicone. And you notice that it's reducing the uh, construction time. So, does this have iron in it? Apparently, not much, but it's reducing the construction time. Automatic doors have iron. Uh, the antenna? Yep. Reducing construction time. I don't care if I go over. I can, I can, it just carries over into the next blueprint, so... <clears throat> getting there five minutes let's throw all these in and five minutes it's not gonna let us put any more in now <clears throat> so let's just start production in five minutes uh we will be able to spawn in the hv so that's pretty cool so let's keep zapping stuff basically what we want now is <clears throat> mats uh not necessarily for the blueprint factory but more for the um just to make stuff with i don't think i'm gonna get yeah deco doesn't give me much steel plates those only those don't give me much either do they nothing um Give me like a few steel plates. <laughs> wow, that hasn't spoiled yet. How did that? What? Okay. Whatever. I guess it was air conditioned. Yeah, I am going to burn through charges quite fast, but that's okay. We can use these steel plates. It'll come in handy. Uh, I think this will give me glass plates and steel plate. Yeah. And then, does this give me just glass? Oh, it doesn't give me anything. Does this give me anything? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I mean, I got enough mats now that the HV is getting spawned in. Uh, let's get all of the... Those guys picked up. I want my money. Give me my money. I can't do those guys. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, is there anything in the... I already nuked the dudes, sir. Nuke those dudes. Can I nuke everyone now? You know what? Let's treat that. I could use a door. Yeah, I need to nuke these guys. Okay, I'm going to grab a bunch of stuff that I want now. Oh, wait, that has all my food in it. Let's grab that. And then we're going to grab some windows here. I want to be able to um, maybe make a, a garden or something over at the other the mining hub, so grabbing a bunch of windows for the for the walls basically. I can turn those into two by two blocks, the two by two size windows, so that those will be uh handy dandy. And then I'll grab a bunch of blocks. And then when we go over to the residences, we'll steal all their their growing plots. <laughs> and we'll bring those over. Okay. Uh, what else? Let's grab all these. Oh, those are just walkway and railings. That's okay, I'll grab them. Oops, let's get that one. Oh, that sucked. Okay. Yeah, the windows cost a lot to make, so a lot of silicone. You know what? We should actually take the fuel now. Let's take the fuel before we let it run anymore. up to 20 very nice uh, we can grab oxygen too right yeah and oh nice there's enough to grab too so we'll just grab everything they got three bottles and our HV is ready to go let's grab some more of these we're gonna grab these as full blocks uh, I would like to actually take these back with me because they are nice I don't want to make those per se. They have a lot of cobalt that requires to make them. Um, and if I want to, I, I can still put them into a, um, a a blueprint. So grabbing them as full blocks is always a good thing. It's always a good choice. I'm just gonna grab all the stuff as full blocks, really. I just want it all. Okay. What else? What else? Actually, let's... I think there were showers and stuff over there. But... Okay, let's grab the real good stuff now. What are we at? We are getting full. So let's... You know, I'm just going to drop that. I don't even care about it. Uh, the deco, I don't even care. I'll drop that too. Gives us a couple slots and some down here. Oh, actually, we can spawn in the HV. Once we spawn in, yeah, let's just spawn that in right now. So I'm facing that direction. It should spawn straight in. Let's spawn that in right now. It's ready to spawn in. And then we can add... Um, yeah, it's straight enough. It'll spawn there. And then we'll just add you know, one or two of these cargo boxes. Since they're generic for uh, all vehicles and bases, and I've got, uh, well, we hold a couple of slots right there, right? So I can put a couple of small ones on, or I can remove that one and put a larger one on, maybe. That's okay, let's just... 
Let's just do this for now. Hey. Uh, that is weird. Um, well, yeah, I guess I do I, yeah, I, I don't need to throw those out. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the cargo box is actually there. For some reason, the game doesn't think it is, so. <laughs> I don't care. I just don't care. It's, um, pull this stuff in. Uh, <clears throat> you know what, put, I can put that stuff in. Oh! Let's just put this down for a second, and I'm going to put that on, because that'll help with food consumption and everything else. So I'm just going to plop that down for a second, and put this on. There we go. There we go. Slow down the food consumption. Okay, uh, let's grab it. I'm going to grab all this good stuff. Advanced Constructor, the Repair Station, uh, LCD Block, why not? Help for marking things. Okay, so what else do I want? I want... Watch out for Raptors and stuff. Don't see. You be really careful of red arrows appearing around the perimeter of your vision. Always be aware of that. That's the thing about an Iron Man mode. You gotta be hyper vigilant of just everything. Just life in general. You gotta be looking at your temperature. You gotta be looking at your food, your oxygen, your. You name it. Okay, so I've got everything. Let's just grab these. That's full blocks. Grab that door. We'll grab the deco. Some more deco. Is that deco or is that? Yeah, it's furnishing deco. Okay. It's probably enough deco. We don't need any more deco. We can always come back and keep multi tooling. I just want to get the necessities right now. We're not going to need another fridge. Never grab everything. We're not going to need that crap. Okay. Although the, you know what, you know what, that'll break down into uh, decent equipment. So let's grab it. Okay. And I will actually grab that as a am a large ammo box. I can't actually make large ammo boxes yet, so or at least I don't think I chose it. We're gonna grab the repair station. Make sure I grab it. <laughs> it's not salvaging. Okay. Yeah, I'd much rather use it to uh, put in the Blueprint Factory as a whole to get all the resources for it. Uh, what else am I missing? Am I missing anything? I got got everything from the tower. I got what I need from there. I got, I mean, that, that, that stuff. We've got the repair bay. What am I missing? Advanced Constructor, Repair Station, Repair Bay. Uh, I think that's it for now, eh? We can come back and get the blocks later. I mean, I can grab a few right now really quick, I guess, because we could use them. We'll grab these half blocks, because they're... They're faster to uh, pull up and, oops, 
and they're worth still the same, then you get a full block form. And we'll do that with all the rest of these. Yeah, every charge that you hit the block with is actually, it's like, it's a, a it does damage to the block. So if the block has more hit points, it takes a lot more charges to actually pull the block up with a multi-tool. <clears throat> and... That's why the T2 multi-tool that does like, I don't know, it's some crazy, it's like, it's like 10 times the amount of damage for starters and like triple the reach or something, about triple the range, it seems. Um, so ridiculously efficient compared to the tier one. So it's always good to get the tier two going as soon as possible. There we go. That should be enough for now. Uh, 58. Yeah, I mean, there's already areas that I can build up. I'll probably have to come back. But, uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Let's head back. So... with our invisible cargo boxes. Okay, good enough. Good enough, we don't need to, um, and we've got, oh, good fuel lungs, okay. So, let's pile in. We're gonna pee into the cockpit or into the console and then um, you know fry all the electronics uh, let's go like this and put that in so that filled up half that was one of the um, fuel cells that it filled up so that's pretty good that would be like six more if I threw that in Yeah, that's not a bad idea. There we go. <clears throat> so that should give us a bunch of time. Uh, and then we're going to fill all there. We don't worry about the oxygen right now. Well, let's power it up. And we have a vehicle powered up on day two. Nice. Um, well, let's head to the mining hub. And so this just has, actually here, what I'll do is I'll show you guys what I made. Um, did I do this in creative? Did I do, yeah, I did do this in creative. It wasn't in a survival scenario, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's just an ultra cheap HV with four of the cheapo hover thrusters on it. Um, it's not sitting level right now. That's just because I didn't level it off before I jumped out. This thing does have leveling issues, which actually makes it a lot stabler to fly because it doesn't try and like um, level itself if it if it hits a angled bank or something. It doesn't like kick it, bounce it really hard, and try and flip it around or nothing. Be 
because these two in a row, if you hit anything on an angle, it just absorbs it like a shock of arrestor. It's kind of bizarre. Um, it actually makes it easier to fly, to tell you the truth. It's, it's, it's pretty easy to drive when it has that, uh, that layout. Okay, enough of that. Let's go. Maybe we can find, here, let's load our Gatling guns already are fully loaded. They came fully loaded. That's trippy. See that? That's um, really bizarre because that created bullets out of nothing. I didn't have any nitrocellulose or any any bullets in the in the um, or did I did I throw actually did I actually throw bullets in there? I didn't throw 15 mil. That's for sure. Okay, so where did those where or where did that night raptor go? see those those were it was actually from the mining hub over here right it was like um wasn't it oh no it was i know where it was looking at the shuttle hub yeah i want to go find them and kill them so From the fence over there. So it's over here. Oh, there's Spitty Bug. Spitty Bug. First kill. 800 XP. Woohoo! Yeah, you can obviously tell I'm on hard settings because 800 XP <laughs> instead of 1600. Uh, did I show those settings at the beginning? Hmm. Now I can't remember. Um... Let me grab this meat, and I'll just do it. Let, let, we'll, we'll take a look to see if the settings stick, right? That's what we'll do. And was that a tentacle creature over there that I saw? I think it was. Okay. Yeah, see, that's a little uh, tentacle monster. Let's check him out. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Oh! You're really creepy, aren't you? Is he going to run away? Oh. Where you going, buddy? It's not worth much. episode was super long so I think I'm gonna call this one a little bit shorter here I'm just gonna grab some wood on the way well, I do have a bunch of food I should probably put in the fridge um, I could probably actually you know what I'll just I can 
go like this and do some quick come on come on come on it's a nice thing about an open front on the cockpit like that you can really lower it down and just pick right from your cockpit And XP. I can get the sweetener, but I just. Come on. Okay, good enough. Okay, so. We got all this loot, and I'm stuck. Really? Are you serious? Oh, there we go. <laughs> and, ooh, iron, iron. I will grab that. Alt. That'll allow me to look around and see if there's any critters, or at least aggressive critters that might freak out when they see me jump out and come and gank me. And I don't see any, so let's get out and we'll just break this thing with the rock with the drill now we'll uh, start using the drill it's quicker and uh, I'll be able to make biofuel coming out of oh hey here here we go here we go this will finish off our quest or not quest it'll finish off the the so one of the solo missions and I just got 10 gold and did I get XP for that? That was for the berries, okay. Nice. 10 gold. I'll take it. Okay. Let's get this stuff fabricating. And then we'll head back. And so here's the champion monument. It's pretty cool. Whoa! Yikes! Okay. Do you guys need to eat some metal? Yeah, I thought so. cornered into it. Trapped into a corner there. Whoa! Damn! Come on. things. Are you stuck on it? Good. You know what? Take a bullet to the head. Jerks. I'll take their meat and eggs, though. Absolutely. Look at that. They damaged my vehicle. Freaking assholes. That's why I don't like riding around on a motorcycle when there's predators out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll get the meat from this guy too. Really? It made 
one. One. Wow, that's slow. <laughs> that's insanely slow. Really? Come on. Nuts. Um. Okay. Well, we're getting close to fifth. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just. Um, I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna level up a bit here. I'm gonna kill a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try and find some more resources, rocks, I guess. Um, and oh, there's more stuff to kill. Look at that. Let's just shoot them. They're much simpler. And we've got spitty bugs. There we go, level five. Hip hip hurrah. Level five. Well, let's see what sort of goodies these guys have other than meat and eggs now. Oh meat and 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 meat and eggs. Yeah, no, they only ever have meat and eggs. <laughs> well guys, um I'm still alive. I think I forgot to show this last time. Uh, five, level five, nine kills, but zero deaths. So I haven't died yet. And what I'm going to do really quick here is I'm going to log off. I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to check the difficulty settings. Yep, they're all set on hard. So that was your witness right there. I was running on hard settings for the second uh, for since I changed it, um, when I realized that that it still defaulted back to medium after even after uh, Know It All DM had supposedly found something in the YAML. So um, anyway, there we go. I'm still running on hard settings. Well, guys, uh, next time we will have more stuff to put onto the H feet and we're going to go exploring. We're going to go try and basically figure out where some more deposits are because we haven't found squat in the way of deposits. So we're going to, that's going to be our first goals is to get resource deposits, obviously. Uh, maybe find some more um, neutral POIs. We're obviously not at the point where we can attack any uh, enemy POIs yet, but uh, that might be pretty quick if we if we're 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 going pretty good here. Um, we haven't died yet. We're in an HV. We've got use of a base. I think we're doing okay. So until next time, you guys have yourselves an awesome. Awesome day.